Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm an artist. Welcome to my studio and also my YouTube channel. And I'm reviewing another book for you today. And today's one is Drawing from Line to Life, and that's by Mike Sibley. Now, Mike is very well respected in the graphite drawing field, and it goes without saying, as you can see by the cover, that he is absolutely fantastic at drawing animals and pretty much everything else as well. And on the cover, it says that it covers methods, materials, step-by-step -step instructions, techniques, philosophy, uh, from line drawing to near reality. But just because somebody is really good at drawing or painting or anything like that, doesn't mean the book is necessarily going to be fantastic. So it's a really in-depth looking book. There's about 300 pages, but let's just see if it's worth you spending your hard-earned cash on it or not. Okay, so the book starts off covering the tools Mike uses and he's purely graphite. So you're there looking at pencils, pencil grades, types, and he uses things like the clutch pen type pencils, normal wood pencils, covers sharpness, erasers, hand guards, so keeping your area clean. And also covers things interestingly like timesheets. So working out how long he's taken to do drawings so he can work out the prices. Studio setup, blenders, other types of blenders, and indenting tools too. So that's quite in depth. He covers fixatives, learning patience, which I'll cover later on. And then we're on to the basic techniques. So this book, he says, is aimed at beginners, novice and advanced. So this is more for the beginners, showing how to get the width of a line by sharpening the tip of the pencil in various ways. And obviously the book is, is quite large, so I can't cover every single topic. So I'll just look at the main parts, the parts I found of interest. Burnishing. And that's getting really rid of the the grain of the paper. You can see the difference there. So that's that's a lovely section. Something you don't normally find in books. Making tortillons or tortillons. That's a, a paper blending stamp. Indenting which he uses quite a bit. So that's actually indenting the paper, putting a dent into the paper so you can draw over the top and that leaves the white paper underneath. Now that's used for things like fine whiskers and fine hairs. And he shows you the tools that he actually uses to create those indentations. And there's a, an example of it there for those fine hairs. So there's also indenting with graphite. That's using a hard pencil, which is indenting the paper a little bit. So when you draw over with your softer pencils, you can see it's left that shiny appearance. Then he goes on to the first of what he calls his live demonstration. So basically step by steps with lots of in-depth text on there. So it's not all about animals, this book, although he's really known for pet portraits and dog portraits. So showing how you build up the hair. And then we go on to another section, working with photos. And when you paint in or draw in or doing any artwork that is this detailed, you're pretty much guaranteed to be working from photographic references. Negative drawing. So you're actually filling in the areas with dark and leaving the white paper to show through. Here's a, an example of a comb. It's a real time intensive method, but one that most professional graphite artists use. And then Mike goes on to perspective. So this is kind of technical drawing. This is one point perspective and showing how to make how objects work in the three-dimensional world, really. Some things most children have, have learned a little bit about with technical drawing and IT in school and those subjects. And it's something you really need to know about to create perspective. Then we go on to transfer methods. So how to actually get that drawing down onto your paper. So Mike covers gridding, 
basic methods of gridding, advanced gridding, the measurement method, freehand drawing. So there's lots of ways to get that down, even to projection and slide projectors or peak projectors. So lots of the, the same things I've covered in, in my video on how to get those drawings accurate and down onto, onto paper. Then we're on to another live demonstration. So it's a tortoiseshell cat. So lot plenty of text describing exactly how he's doing the building up of layers, creating the indentations, create, making the, the pencil go darker. So that's quite in depth as well. Drawing textures. So it's not always just about the animal. So sometimes they're in a, a scene which has got brickwork and Mike shows how he builds that up quite briefly. Drawing wood, drawing foliage, ground cover. So you can really see the detail that he manages to get in his drawings. This is using that negative shape again and then filling it in. Now you can imagine how much work goes into even a small area like that. So imagine how much work is going into his larger drawings. And he carries on giving examples. Drawing hair, very short hair, and he's talking about the, the techniques there. Rather than showing it, he's talking it. Because there's only so many pages you can put in a book before you reach the limit of what the, the publisher will allow. Drawing features, eyes. And he gives a demonstration of a cat eye again. And dogs. Even to the, the anatomy of the nose of a dog. So you know exactly what's happening. And then it's easier if your photo reference doesn't show you perfectly everything you need to know. If you've got an idea of anatomy, you've got a much better chance of getting that drawing accurate. And then we've got another live demonstration. So this time a small dog in a scene. Plenty of step-by-steps. Plenty of text showing it. Building up layers. And then coming to the end of the book. So it says around about 280 pages. And then he talks about resources and you've got a nice index in there as well. So what's my feelings about it? It's, it is really, really in depth and it, it is for all levels of, of art and of, of drawing. So if you are a beginner, you're going to find really helpful things. If you're a novice, I think you're probably going to get the most out of it. Professional, I've no doubt you're going to learn something as well because Mike has been drawing so long. There's, there's surely something in you that everybody's going to learn. The problem I find with um, beginners, if they're going to look at it, it's great because it's going to stop you you having or developing bad habits, really, when you're drawing. You're also going to learn new techniques, things like doing hair with an eraser you may not have known about. But the potential problem would be if you read the whole book in one or two sit-ins, by the time you get to the end, you're probably going to be so confused and so worried you're going to make mistakes that's not correctionable that it may actually put you off drawing a little bit. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. By far, I'd say the most in-depth book on graphite drawing I've, I've ever come across. But for me, personally, it showed me just how much patience you need to draw to the uh, level of somebody like a Mike Sibley. And you've got to have superb and unlimited almost patience. I know his smaller drawings I think take probably 75 to 90 hours to paint over quite a few sessions or even weeks. I, I believe it's on his website saying that his average drawings are around about 150 hours and it's not uncommon for a, a real detailed drawing to take over 200 hours. 
So that's really weeks and weeks of work, if not months. Personally, it showed me I haven't got the patience for that type of artwork. I absolutely respect people and graphite artists that can do this amount of detail. It's, it's beyond my comprehension because I would personally get bored building up the layers, doing the negative type drawing. And that's why more recently I've gone on to charcoal personally because it, you can put white over dark. And, and it's, for me, it's a much more simple method. But if your passion is graphite, if you love pencil drawing, you love the simplicity of picking up a pencil, a piece of paper and create an art, I can't think really of a better, more in-depth book than this book by Mike Sibley. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it was of use to you and I'll do another art book review real soon. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. If so, you may like to go over to my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk. There I've got lots of full length feature videos on techniques and tips. I've got eBooks. I've got 800 reference photos all with the new Easy Trace line art and so much more. So that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Also on YouTube every Friday, I've got Free Photo Friday. Every Thursday, I'm doing art book reviews. And every Tuesday, it's tips and also art product reviews. So don't forget to come back soon.